But I'm just saying, like, you know, where strip clubs are concerned, any woman in here can tell you, you can be objectified and harassed at a desk with your clothes on, so it don't make a fucking difference. And also, <laughs> hip-hop music has made stripping a part of popular culture. You know, Cardi B's one of the biggest rappers in the game. She used to be a stripper, right? And then Jennifer Lopez just did a, strip, a sh fucking stripping movie just now. And also, Miley Cyrus is twerking at some point, remember that? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, like, we've gone to the point, I think, where hip hop did for stripping what Twilight did for vampires. Because <laughs> if you think about it, strippers and vampires have a very similar lifestyle. <laughs> Just hear me out. Hear me out. Both those jobs involve a lot of, you know, working at night. <laughs> The biggest fear about them both is that they're going to bleed you dry. <laughs> and people are always trying to stick wood in their chest. So let me ask you that. And then the occasional holy water. The point is... You know, that stripping is now part of popular culture. Like, you realise that you can now get pole dancing classes and pole fitness on Groupon. <laughs> Has anybody here ever taken a pole dancing class or a group one? Steady here, steady here. What's your name, miss? Yasmin. Yasmin. Obviously, your stripper name is what I meant. <laughs> Candy. I like that. <laughs> Candy, did you enjoy your experience? <laughs> Loved it. What did you love most about it? Don't know. It's all good, the whole thing. All right. And yourself, Miss, you also had a class, right? I did it all through uni. You did it all through uni? It was really hard. Is it hard? Yeah. There's a lot, lot of work, right? Yeah, yeah a lot of abs yeah. and stuff. Now, see, that's why I think it's a great thing, because normally if you tell people it's good for fitness, they'll be like, why well, are you going to pole fitness to get in shape? You can go to the fucking gym. <laughs> I disagree. I think if you want to have a safe space as a woman to explore and celebrate your sexuality, that's a great thing. So I'll be honest. What was your name, Miss? Eddie, you know I mean stripper name. <laughs> Bella, Candy, Myla, Candy. I love that shit. <laughs> I would love to be able to do that. You think if I could, for a living, put my balls in a woman's lap, I'd be like, don't touch, you get kicked out, we got balls in this club, girl. <laughs> you think if I could do that for a living, I'd be here doing fucking comedy? I would love that. You think I would be here sweating my balls off on stage when I could be in a darkly lit strip club with a satin kimono on <laughs> and some baby boo Calvin Klein's with a cool stripper name like Skin Diesel? <laughs> Like Skin Diesel? I was going to go with Skin Diesel or Fanny Glover or Better Dick Cumber Snatch. Everyone's got a dream. So the thing is, when I talk about the fact that I enjoy strip clubs, people always say, Yeah, dude, you say that, but if your daughter was a stripper, how would you feel then? And I feel fucking fine. If she's self-employed, she enjoys what she does for a living, and she can take care of herself, and she feels fulfilled spiritually, that's all the fuck that matters. And I say that, I say that because I've been in strip clubs, and I've heard men say stuff like, if you piss in my hand, I'll drink it. That's somebody's son. <laughs> I'd rather have the child that shows bush than hides in one. <laughs> you know? And also, like I said, I enjoy it because there's a lot of parallels between strippers and comedians. You know, my performance takes place next to a pole, and I have to bear myself for a bunch of strangers. And the hardest part is you have to pretend that you like people for money. <laughs> Not you guys, though, you're different. <laughs> Something about you, something about you guys. You're like anyone else I've ever met. <laughs> so, to the lady who was obviously very cynical about the strip club thing, I'm just saying, don't knock it until you try it. Because <laughs> they're more scared of you than you are of them. <laughs> Which I know sounds a lot like spiders. <laughs> but spiders and strippers also have a lot in common. <laughs> Alright, hear me out, Candy, you can verify this. <laughs> I fucking love that name. <laughs> the 
this your boyfriend? No? Good. <laughs> That's not okay. No, no, spiders and strippers are very similar in that both those jobs involve a lot of climbing in the darkness, and both those jobs involve capturing creeps and pests and an invisible web to feed your family. <laughs> So in my experience, your girlfriend gets very upset she finds them in the bathroom. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that was it. Lots of parabola, yeah. 